This video brought to you by Beyond Materials. I could make my second door from the same fabrics that I used on my previous one. And that construction certainly does meet racing regulations. But this is a driver's side door, which gives me the opportunity to be the first in the world to show guys how to make a door to the new FIA International Event Side Impact Standards. And I'll certainly be much safer behind this construction. This inner panel is not only more comprehensive than the simple perimeter frame of my passenger door, it's also part of the side impact protection system. I'll use this light 225 gram or an imperial 8 ounce chop strand mat around the door handle recess and these compound curves like I did with your passenger door. But most of this door will be made from Kevlar which gives the greatest tear and impact resistance, far greater than carbon fibre. The outer skin of this door will also be Kevlar.
final step in making this impact resistant race car door is to fill it with foam and the right type must be used and it's not foam in a tube but pouring foam. I have been using pouring foam for well over 30 years. When working as a full-time professional taxidermist I worked with Sydney's largest foam manufacturers uh, experimenting with different formulas and mixes. So I know what I'm talking about. The FIA and CAMS by default in Australia have specified the type of foam that must be used in international events like the World Rally Championship by type and by brand. The Australian manufacturers at the time of this video are totally unaware of this marketing opportunity and the ones I've contacted can't supply it. <laughs> but that's okay because 99.9% .9 of you will never enter an international event. And what I'm about to show you will meet all the requirements for national, state and multi-club competition. In fact, it'll exceed what is required. So by default, I'm just going to use general purpose pouring foam, which expands 20 to 25 times its volume. It's messy stuff and it will always find a hole and leak out. The way this foam works is that it cements both layers together and fills the void between them. And this inhibits them pushing together or bending in the event of a crash. The foam is also dense. On its own, you can easily snap it, but when sandwiched between two layers, it becomes incredibly crush resistant. Its expansion creates nasty gases and tremendous pressures that will blow any fiberglass double panel apart. Go. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. That problem is avoided by encasing uh, the inner and the outer door halves in their moulds for this process. I'll tell you how much I've used when this door is finished but it's really just a matter of trial and error and being cautious and it doesn't matter if it takes you several pours to fill the door. Yes you can but you've got to remove all locks and internal mechanisms because the foam is going to cement everything together and it's going to find holes you haven't blocked off. From wholesale fiberglass material suppliers, from insulation uh, material product suppliers or from the manufacturers of the foam themselves and you can find all of those by googling for them in your area. The FIA side impact rules also require that the foam goes from the door right to the edge of the seat. So if you're going to fully meet those requirements, you're going to have to make a double-sided Kevlar pod that goes in here, probably bolted to your roll cage, and it's got to go around your sidebars and fill that with foam. I'm not that worried. The FIA also requires that your door sills be filled with foam. That's easy to do and I'll show you how to do that later on. With six layers of 200 gram cloth, that double skin door that I just made has a total Kevlar density of 1200 grams. Now the FIA requires 1680 grams minimum, but if you make that side pod that goes next to your seat, you'll exceed it because you'll have a total of 2,000 grams of Kevlar between you and any impact point. I've tricked myself. I can't put the inner door skin mould back over this door to strengthen it while I pour the foam because it'll block these holes off and I won't have any access to pour the foam in. So instead what I'll do is I'll just put some heavy timber across the door and clamp it and that'll stop the panel from popping out.
teams who build race cars for international events all have budgets and resources you and I never will. And they use state-of-the-art composite techniques. I'm not pretending that is what I've shown you here. I'm just a guy in a shed showing others what and how they can increase their own racing safety themselves if they want to. I have shown you lots of ideas and techniques that can be applied and adapted across the many different forms and levels of motorsport other than international rallying. Our results may not be perfect and need a little tidying up, but they will certainly do the job. Stay off the armco and out of the trees. Thanks for watching. Ah. <sighs>